You think you can get soup? Let the man make his soup. How's the soup? Oh, my, this soup's delicious, isn't it? I happen to love that soup. It's good soup. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody, grab your plates. Soup, sir. I'm Magna Mills, and I'm here to introduce the master of the Moonster, the king of the clams, the only man alive with a fifth-degree black belt in broccoli, the soup deucer. This is the soup kitchen. It's time to get our grub on. Soup, what are you teaching people to make this week? Well, you know, coming off of St. Patrick's Day weekend and everything else, you know, we're, we're about a week past that now, and everybody's got the uh, corned beef and cabbage out of the way and everything else, so we're going with a little bit of something that still holds true to the uh, to the seasonal whatnots, and we're going to do some Guinness beef stew, man. Guinness beef stew. So, uh, basically, man, it's a pretty easy fucking recipe, man. All you really need, you know, you want to get... We got a list of ingredients here you can check out man you want to get bacon you want to get some boneless beef chuck you need some salt pepper fucking uh, a couple onions garlic basic shit here uh tomato paste a couple carrots celery a little fresh thyme some sugar and uh of course what you're definitely going to need because the name and everything else man you're gonna need some guinness beer dude at least one can of guinness man we'll start with the one can we'll do about that much so get yourself all that stuff, man. You're also gonna need some chicken stock. You're gonna need some chicken stock. I like to mix the chicken and beef stock together. Um, I'll get into why I do that later on, but you need the stock. And uh, and then you're gonna need some potatoes. Now, some people put potatoes right in there, the little ones boiled and whatnot. And this one, this particular dish we're gonna do here, man, we're, gonna do, we're just gonna put it over some mashed potatoes. So if you don't know how to make mashed potatoes, I don't know what to tell you, but make some mashed potatoes, have them ready to go. All right, so you got that going. Step one, what we're gonna do here to put this fucking Guinness stew together, man. We're gonna cut some fucking bacon into little chunks, dude. We're gonna dice it up. It's easier to dice this shit when it's not fucking warm. Keep that shit as cold as possible. Maybe even pop it in the freezer for a few. So it has some kind of fucking, uh, you know, uh, fucking, it's easier to fucking cut. I don't know the word, but it's easier to fucking cut if it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit more. It's some more substance to it. Yeah, it's, uh, and it's, it's, try, it's try not as flimsy. Up, it's try and slice up soggy fucking bacon, man. It's kind of hard to do. So yeah, have that shit kind of firm. Make it easier on yourself. Either way, cut it into fucking little chunks, dude. End of the day, that's all you need, man. So you start there, man. You cook that shit in a fucking skillet. Get your fucking skillet over medium high. Cook that shit, you know, a couple, three, four, five minutes, whatever the fuck. And take the fucking bacon out, man. Leave the bacon fat in there. Take the bacon out, put it into a pot. Put it into this pot. This pot is what you're gonna use to make everything. It's gonna be the fucking, the, the fucking, it's where everything is gonna go. So, so get a big pot, a big stew pot or whatever. Put the bacon when it's done, throw it in there. Keep the fat in the fucking skillet. All right, then you take your fucking beef fucking chuck cubes that you have cubed up into like little one inch pieces, man. Season them with a little salt and pepper, dude. Get them all fucking nice and seasoned up, man. Turn that heat on to high on that fucking uh, skillet. Not in the stew pot. Leave that stew pot the fuck alone right now with the bacon chilling in it. Heat that skillet up to high, man. Put your fucking uh, put your fucking beef chunks in there, man. Do them in batches if you got to. Don't overcrowd it because you don't want to steam them out. You just want to sear the edges on this shit, man. Sear it all the way around. Get them all nice and brown. Put those fuckers in the fucking stew pot. Leave all that fucking residual what the fucks in that skillet. So now you got bacon grease and beef fucking fat in there gonna be flavor town in that motherfucker dude so now you got all your beef browned off it's in the fucking uh it's in the fucking uh pot with the bacon and shit man now you take your skillet and you took it and you take it down to medium man this is where you start putting in your fucking uh your aromatics and shit so throw your onions in there man throw your onions in, onions in there first carrots celery put that shit in there man cook that shit on medium heat Till about, you know, I don't know, five, eight minutes, whatever the fuck, man, you know, hit it with a little salt pecker or whatever the fuck, and then throw, throw a fucking whack a little bit of fucking garlic in there, man. You want to put your garlic in last because you don't want to burn that shit. Put that in towards the end. Whack a little bit of garlic in there, stir it around, cook it again for another couple of minutes, man. At this point, I didn't put this in the recipe ingredients, but I do like to sprinkle a little bit of flour in at this point just to cover everything. This will thicken your sauce later on so that you don't have a thin, runny, like soupy kind of uh, uh, stew. You want more of a, like, you don't want fucking cement paste here, but you want, like, I like a little bit of body to it. So this is where I, it's optional, but I like to do this. Throw a little flour in there, let that shit cook off. Whatever the fuck, man. All right, so now we have that. And, okay, now when your veggies are good and fucking translucent, man, 
Take your fucking Guinness, crack that fucker open, pour it in, dude, pour it into the skillet, mix that shit around, get all the shit off the bottom, man, all that fucking little brown bits and whatnot, man, take that shit, mix it, mix it, stir it up real good, dude. Once everything's nice and incorporated, man, take all that stuff and pour it into your fucking stew pot, dude, pour it all into your stew pot, so now your stew pot's got all the veg, the beer, and, uh, and, uh, and all the goodness in there, so... What you do at this point is you take your tomato paste, stir that in there, stir your sugar in there, take your herbs, your thyme, a little salt and pepper in there, throw that in there, and then put your fucking stock in there. Now, I like to use a mix of both chicken and beef stock on this, and people are like, oh, why do you use chicken stock in a beef stew? It sounds fucked, but it's definitely the way to go. Fucking, uh, put that, put that shit in there, enough stock to cover everything, and then cover that fucking shit and simmer it, man. Simmer it for a good fucking two hours. Leave it the fuck alone. Let it fuck off for about two hours. Occasionally jump in there and stir it around or whatever the fuck. And that's about it, man. Two hours goes by. Your meat should be good and tender. Everything should be fucking pretty well fucking incorporated and everything else, man. Um, so take your cover off at that point and then jack your heat the fuck up. Jack it up to fucking like medium high. Let that shit come to a low boil, okay? And cook that shit for about like... 15 minutes until it thickens up a little bit more. You'll get a good consistency. When it's at the consistency that you want, turn it the fuck off, man. Pretty simple, man. Then the, that's it. That's all you got to do, man. You got your mashed potatoes already ready to go. Put that shit on, on the bottom of a plate, man. Maybe make a little fucking uh, little dip in the mashed potatoes, a little bowl kind of thing. So you could scoop your ladle, your fucking uh, Guinness stew right on top of that, man. If this going to be that kind of party, I'm going to stick my dick in the mashed potatoes. <laughs> garnish it with a little bit of fresh thyme, parsley, whatever the fuck you got, and there you go. Circle with bread, whatever the fuck. You got Guinness fucking stew, man. I mean, that sounds good at any time of the year, really, and you could probably eat it for any meal of the day, right? It could be breakfast, it could be lunch, it could be brunch. Oh, yeah, yeah. sure, man. It could be sure. dessert, I mean. And it's probably all right for the kids to have it, right? Despite the little so, bit of Guinness in there, no one's getting hammered. Well, the, the alcohol the yeah. alcohol cooks out, the, you know, so it doesn't really... Right, so alcohol. it's safe for it's safe for, for kids here, just to, Absolutely you know, wanted to, to put that out there. Just so you know, even though there might be a little bit of Guinness in there, it does uh, cook off for you. And, dude, I, I do have to say, I, I, you know, all the things in the kitchen are cool. But I love a skillet because is there a more fun thing to say than skillet? It's just a fun word. Very skillet, much enjoy the skillet, man, whatever dude. the fuck, man. Yeah. Like, dude. what are you doing today, son? <laughs> skillet. It just sounds cool. Like yeah. the soup kitchen, dude. The soup kitchen's cool. It sounds cool. We got cool stuff presented by the Joe Blow Football Show. We hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, thoughts, did you make it? Did you make a little change to it? Something like that? Let us know in the comments. Hit us up on social media at Joe Blow Show. And if you, there's something you want to see the soup cook up for you, again, let us know on the social media in the comments. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the next soup kitchen. And just like a, you know, a soup kitchen, it don't cost you nothing. Let me sleep all night in your soup kitchen. <laughs> sleep all night in your soup kitchen. I can make my own soup. Five cups chopped porcini mushrooms, half a cup of olive oil, three pounds celery. That is my recipe for wild mushroom.